Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Dylan and I just created this glam for you and I found some amazing products during um, filming this makeup tutorial and they are amazing and you really don't want to miss out. So if you want to know how I created this makeup look, look at that glow. Uh, if you want to know how I created this makeup tutorial, then keep on watching. Let's do some glam. Oh, I'm excited for this video because I haven't done a proper glam in a while like a really full face glam and I am so ready so first thing that I'm going to use is this keys soul care serum this went viral on TikTok, and um, it is from Alicia Keys and it's the let me glow illuminating serum and I saw this girl uh, glamzilla is her name I guess and she's amazing on TikTok. you should follow her she is sharing all these tips and tricks when it comes to makeup and products and she was actually using this serum and it looked so beautiful and so glowy she mentioned that it was more like a um, maybe like a primer or a makeup thing because of the little glitters that she saw instead of like a, a skincare item but the glow was amazing and I was like wait a minute I have this serum at home so I finally found it everyone who used this on TikTok looked so incredibly glowy um, and I actually already did my skincare routine but I wanted to use this as a primer wow I am glowing like my skin was already quite glowy but this is just wow this looks really nice but i hope this color will match since i am a little more pale than you know than usual but um this is in shade six cool freud which is a little confusing because i think the foundation looks really warm and it has a beautiful like yellow undertone i have this clean breast set that i found it's from ColourPop, so hopefully it's going to perform well but i was like hmm, i need that today so I'm just using the tiniest bit of foundation. I should have removed my mustache. So I'm just going to apply this on my cheeks. And I am, you know, I love a full coverage foundation, but I don't like to go in really heavy with foundations. I like a full coverage effect, but you know, it has to look natural and skin-like. And I thought I would never say that. And I feel like a 30 year old, I am 30 years old, but, um, here we are. Just a little bit on the forehead. Here's a little secret. If you want your foundation to look really natural and really blend it with your skin, try not to focus that much product on your forehead and on your nose. Like I barely even apply foundation on my nose and forehead. Um, and that way, like you can't even tell that I'm wearing quite a lot of makeup. It kind of looks flat on the skin. And I feel like if you put on a lot of um, foundation on your forehead and nose, it is going to look very textured. If that makes sense so just whatever is left on my brush and this foundation is beautiful and I think the color match is also beautiful okay so for concealer I'm going to use the NARS um, soft matte complete concealer in uh, honey which is yeah light 3 honey kind of going to use this as a corrector so I'm going to use this to cover most of my dark circle now i'm going to use a lighter concealer as i mentioned and this one is maybe a little too light but i'm going to use the tiniest bit this is the it cosmetics full coverage anti-aging uh, concealer in light natural and i think i ordered this online i'm sure no i ordered this online but it ended up a little too light but we'll make it work just going to use a tiny bit and this is probably like too much already so just going to use the same brush I don't know why my voice is like <clears throat> so cracky today. It's light, but it's not that light. It's not bad. And then also a little on the sides to get that lifted look. And I personally like to be a little lighter here as well, like on the sides of my nose. I remember I used to be obsessed with, um, and obviously I still am, with eyeshadows and you know with I eye, doing eye looks now I am 100% into complexion everything that has to do with complexion and starts with skincare um, but also with facials like I'm all about skin now and like my skin needs to look perfect and I think because we also kind of like shifted when it comes to maybe like taste obviously that doesn't go for everyone but like we're not really into those super precise eyeshadow looks anymore like it all needs to fit with each other and um and the good thing about that is like everyone can do makeup like you don't have to be a makeup artist or a professional 
to be able to do makeup like everyone can do it and I love that um, whereas you know with the trends going on with the cut creases going on obviously that was also fun to do but now it's more like uh, you know sophisticated and all about the glow and skin like effect and still glam looks but I think in a, in a different way which is more approachable for everyone I think and I like that. I love it. So I'm going to carve up my brows with concealer to get this like very neat look. So taking this angle brush, this is E6, and I'm dipping it into my Anastasia. And I'm dipping it into my Anastasia palette. Um, I'm going for the shade Caramel. Just slightly filling in those gaps. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I actually kind of like changed the shape of my brow. And I'm not sure what I think about it, but I... I think I like it. I made it a little bit more straight, as you can see. And I think with my face shape, I do like it. So I'm not going to fill them in too much. I'm using the darker shade of the shade Caramel. You see, like I barely even touch them and they look amazing. So I'm going a tiny bit right here. And I'm taking the lighter shade now. And I'm just going to kind of like not really fill it in, but just a touch of something there. Ooh! Oh my god, I love how they look like. Oh, they look so good. Okay, now we're just going to blend the concealer because I am loving the shape. I don't have to correct anything. When you apply your foundation, you don't want to go too near your brows. So that's why sometimes when you want to get rid of the redness over here, you can just... Use a concealer. Oh wow, I love that. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Is that narcissistic when it's mild? No, it's self-love. I love it. Okay, the palette that I'm going to use, I've been using this since I got it. It's one of my favorite brands, Dose of Colors. They never fail when it comes to makeup. I think we do have a lot of neutral palettes. Like, uh, we have so much neutral palettes. But... I think nine out of 10 times they are a little too warm and sometimes I'm just missing the neutral or even the cool undertone. So with this one, I feel like you have the perfect mix. Like you have a very warm undertone and you don't see this color very often. It looks kind of like, you know, like another neutral color, but it's not. And I think these colors are so amazing. Like this is a, such a beautiful palette. Um, and I think it's an addition to what you probably already have at home. You see, and I also love the fact that it's not like burnt orange or it's not super, um, it is pigmented, but it's not like um, you have to blend it for hours, if you know what I mean. It already looks airbrushed. Okay, still using the same brush and I'm going in with a slightly darker color, which is this one. Kind of doing the same, but a little below what we just did. And if you already have a crease, perfect. But since I have a um, flat surface, I should say. I have to kind of like create depth using eyeshadows. Slightly blending it outwards. Okay, then I'm taking this Sigma brush. This is the diffused blend brush and I'm going to use this color right here and pretty much going to do the same, but now we're going to define the crease a little bit more. Oh, this is such a beautiful shade. And as you can see, I'm not really bringing it down. I'm just leaving it like this. So we'll have a beautiful lifted look because we're going to do like a liner as well. And then we're just going to connect those lines. Now I'm just going to play with the colors and then just, you know, blend the shadow a little bit more until I'm satisfied with how it looked. Going back to the first two colors that I've used, I'm just going to blend this shadow right here until I'm satisfied with how it looks. I like a little bit more of a defined shadow when it comes to the crease, so I'm not going to over blend it. So lately this is my favorite thing to do and I really like it with my eyes. So if you have a little bit more, you know, if you have similar eyes like I have, um, then you will love this simple trick. Um, I do like it whether I have a natural glam or like a full coverage or, you know, like a festive glam. I just really love to do this and sometimes with a little bit of a lighter color, sometimes with a darker color, but just defining this little, I already did this, but I kind of like forgot about it. Just defining this part right here. I don't know, for some reason, like I just really love how this looks like. If you have hooded eyes, I do have a tutorial on how you can um, create an eyeliner for your eye shape. So I will link that below actually, if you guys are interested. So I want to do a very tight, and very thin one and then also in the beginning 
I'm not even going in with a regular eyeliner because I love how this looks like. Last time I was doing my makeup, I actually wanted to, you know, use a little bit of a shimmer into like in the middle of, in the center of my eye, but I couldn't find a highlighter. I couldn't find an eyeshadow palette. So, um, because I was in a hurry, I actually grabbed my orgasm palette from NARS and I used this on in the center of my eye and I really loved it. So basically since then, I really love to use this um, in the center of my eye. Gives a beautiful shine to it. It looks very natural, but still has kind of like a sheen to it, that makes sense. I really love that, and I'm going to use a pop of Shell Yeah from this palette from Too Faced that I haven't used before, and it's beautiful. Sunset Stripped palette, and Hell Yeah looks amazing. So same brush, and just pop it in the center. I don't want this look to be too glittery, so I'm just going to use the tiniest. Okay, quickly going to do the same on the other eye, and then I'll be back. I think it's time to finally um, blend my concealer. This is the Precision Flat Angled Brush from Sigma. This was recommended by Naima Bremer. She's an amazing artist in the Netherlands. You guys need to follow her on Instagram, which is Naima Bremer. She just shares some amazing tips and tricks that you don't really you know, like think about as um, as a beauty lover, you know what I mean? But some, you know, makeup artists, they do have their gems and that's why uh, this brand is around forever. But I actually didn't know this brand and I didn't know this product, but it's amazing. So usually if I would go somewhere, I would apply this on my inner corners as well. They have amazing shade range. Um, but if you, you have teary eyes and you're just always like, oh, I really want to do like an inner corner eyeliner, but you can't you know, with this brand, so like you really can. It's a multifunction. You can use this on your lips, on your on your cheeks, on everything. I think I'm just going to use the same brush that I've used on my brows and for my liner. Um, I am actually going to use this as my under eye eyeliner. And since it has like a reddish undertone, it's going to give that beautiful, you know, edge to this look, that. And then I'm just going to blend it. A little. Uh, taking the E28, I'm going to dip into Cacao and Glow, which is this shade right here, and I'm going to blend this line a little to smoke it out. I honestly think this looks so cool, like I love it. I love that. I'm going to use the Tantor from Huda Beauty in shade Light, and I'm slightly going to contour. I think I'm just going to use the same brush that I've used for my foundation. See if this is going to work. I love contouring my forehead. Like it's my favorite thing to do. Or like, you know, make it really bronze. So not too much. I just want to kind of like define my cheeks and create a little bit more depth. This is still like one of my favorite contour creams. I haven't really found something that I think, you know, works better. But if you guys are like, you need to try this con contour stick or um, cream or whatever. I prefer cream though instead of powder. But let me know if you found one that is, you know, super creamy, but it still needs to look a little defined. You know, I love the Fenty one, but for me it's a little too creamy. Uh, I think of that more like a bronzer instead of like a contour cream, if that makes sense. Even this shade is actually a little bit more functions a little bit more as a bronzer instead of like a contour shade. I know I'm going quite high, trust the process. I'm using this concealer brush, just going to define my nose. Okay, a little bit under my lip. For blush, I'm going to use Fenty Beauty Summertime Wine, and I'm going to use this F9 brush, which is kind of like a stippling brush. I'm going to apply this right here and right there. I'm going to apply this right next to the shadow. Wow, that is a really, really nice shade. Applied a little too much, so I'm going to blend it with my foundation brush. Mm. This shade looks amazing, I love it. One of my favorite products to elevate your glow game is Refi Beauty. Refi is just killing it lately. They, Their products, like every single product that I've used from Refi is so good. Like Jess Hunt is her name, I think, uh, the CEO. And she's just doing an amazing job. This is a gloss highlighter in Topaz. This is how much I use. It's actually too much, but um, you'll see how beautiful this is. I'm just going to use this ColourPop F21 brush. And we are going to 
look like a glazed donut. It's going to look so beautiful. And I love the fact that it really looks like, like in a good way, it looks like sweat. It reminds me of what, um, you know, of the award shows, like when you see Kim Kardashian, amazing complexion. And this, like, is, isn't this like incredible? This is probably one of my favorite glossy highlighters out there. Okay, so that's it for the complexion. Obviously, we're going to powder it, but first I'm going to do my lips and then just powder the rest. Another product that I've been really loving lately is this NARS translucent powder. This is the crystal powder. You also have the compact one, but I prefer the, the loose one. I think this gives the most, the most perfect airbrushed under eye look. Not only on the under eye, just your whole complexion just looks amazing. So this is definitely one of my favorite products right now. Okay, we're going to do lips. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so for lip liner, I do have a budget lip liner that I am loving so much. Like this needs to go viral. This color is so stunning. This is from Kiko and it's uh, Kiko Milano. I think this was the festive, yeah. It's the Festival Glow Collection Waterproof Lip Liner in 01. Doesn't budge. It looks so beautiful. It's the perfect brown, mauve kind of color, if that makes sense. Like, I can't really even describe it, but it's beautiful. Like, isn't this the perfect color lip liner? I think it's just uh, amazing. And it doesn't, like, it's a couple of euros. Like, I'm not sure how much it costs, but it's not much. I never really fill my lips in with lip liner, but this is a beautiful color if you do want to do that. Like, it's just... Amazing. I think I'm just going to buy a lot more from this because it's beautiful. Okay, I just, I think this looks a little too ombre-ish for me. Um, I think I'm going to go with, this is a, this is another brand that I really love. They have amazing lip products. It's Citizen Cosmetics. I believe it is from Norway, if I'm not wrong. Was this a gloss or a lip? I'm not sure. I think this was a gloss and this is a lipstick. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of this lipstick. This color looks amazing. Matches the lip liner like perfectly. I love it, but I do want my lips to look a little hydrated, so I'm going to use a tiny bit of um, NARS Orgasm Lip Mask, which is, by the way, everything. It looks so beautiful. I did a TikTok recently using a lip liner and then just um, this lip mask, and it looks beautiful. Feels and smells amazing. <gasps> This look is coming together and I love it. I'm still using this cloth or puff, I should say, um, from Tati Beauty and I think it's amazing. It works amazing. Look at that, like this is just airbrushed. As you can see, I applied a mascara and lashes. These are the Ardell Wispy Lashes. The mascara that I've used is this one, The Real Magnet from um, Benefit Cosmetics. It's a beautiful mascara. And I didn't even use lash curler and I still think my lashes look pretty. They look pretty okay. I love it. This is the look in real life. I know I have studio lights and stuff, but it like in real life, my skin still looks like skin, which I love, but it has like, it is full coverage. Like you can't see any blemishes or whatever. Um, I loved this. This looks really beautiful underneath makeup. I obviously haven't tried it with other foundations, but I'm not sure if I would recommend this using it like as a serum in your skincare routine, but I will definitely apply this on days where I want to be, you know, like a little glowy or when I like, maybe you can even mix it with your tinted moisturizer or on its own. It's beautiful. And I can really see, obviously the glow is also from Refi, but I can feel like my skin is nourished and hydrated. So I feel like it looks beautiful and um, yeah, so check it out if you want. So I hope you guys like this video. As always, I will mention everything in the description box below. Make sure to follow me on TikTok and on Instagram, which is Aldi on Saba. I will link it here in the description box below. And leave me a comment. What do you think of this look? And I would love for you to share some of your, like, recommendations when it comes to makeup. Could be skincare, hair care, um, and makeup, obviously. So I hope you guys liked it, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!